Hi guys, so for tonight's video, we are going to be looking at who is jealous of you and why. So we have three piles tonight. One, two, three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile you feel most drawn to. And if you guys enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a lot and it's a great way to give back for the energetic healing session I'm bringing to you today. Another great way that you can do that is through donating to my channel. You can find my cash app paypal and amazon wish list all in the description box below and all of those things really help me so does leaving timestamps down there as well or checking out my other channel d storytime you can find the link to it in the description box leaving me some likes comments shares subscribes over there that really helps me out as well and so let's get started with pile one for pile one who is jealous of you and why? For some of you, this could actually be members of your family. Um, the changes that you have made in your life path compared to the way your family does things. Um, if it's family, that could definitely be it. People who have known you for a long time, things like that. The way that you have changed. It's reminding me of that picture that says, you've changed and we're supposed to. And it has the caterpillar and the butterfly there. A lot of the changes that you made may actually trigger some people. Um, you definitely have shocked people with your resilience, your strength as well. Also, I feel like you could be somebody who may be a public speaker of some kind. You may sing in public. You may do something in public that has to do with your voice. This is a golf ball as well. So, I mean, golf could be included here for some reason. But... I see it as a microphone every time I see it. So something with a microphone, your voice, maybe even maybe even the way you're able to project your voice, maybe the way that people listen to you, notice you, you stand out. Um, people actually hear what you have to say, and maybe they ha maybe these are people that have a really hard time getting people's attentions. Maybe they have a little bit of fear or like stage fright or something like that, and so they have a hard time putting themselves out there. We also have finesse. And this is a clothing tag, which I usually don't focus on at all, but you could definitely have some really nice clothes or just a really nice sense of fashion and style when it comes to how you put your clothes together. You're definitely good at finessing people, talking to people. You're very charismatic. He who wants the rose must respect the thorn. You're also somebody who doesn't, you just don't put up with people that, um, want to jump down your throat for the things that you do that they deem wrong, but want you to accept every part of them. You are definitely somebody who is very accepting of others and the differences that they have, and you expect people to be the same way of you as well. I actually was having this conversation with somebody a couple years ago, and we were talking back and forth, and we both kept interrupting each other a little bit. And one of the times that I went to talk, he was talking, and... I stopped and he's like, God, I hate that you do that. You always talk over everything that I'm saying. We ended up in a big argument about it. But I was like, um, you constantly do that as well. Like constantly. You can't yell at me for doing something that you do too. That's not okay. Anyway, yeah, you are somebody who really, um, if people want to be around you, they have to respect you and you will gladly respect them as well. Osmos, INSP 2021. Osmosis Jones is coming to mind. You could be somebody who has a really good immune system as well. We have National Rifle Association all in 2012. The right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed upon. National Rifle Association of America incorporated in 1871. So you are definitely somebody who is all in. You could also be a very big supporter of gun rights. Um, you could even be somebody who knows how to use guns very well or weapons in general very well. You may be very good in self-defense as well. You are definitely somebody who believes in freedom and you believe in people having the right to do what they want to do in their life and with their time. And you give that right to others, but you also expect that right from others to not be stomped on or frowned on or people to not push you to do things that you don't want to do sagittarius optimistic libra charming scorpio and by the way since sagittarius came out i'm just going to talk about something really quick uh in my last video i think 
I mentioned something about the amount of Sagittariuses that I have known that are pathological liars. And you know what? It's kind of like how there's a higher level of Leos that have narcissistic traits, or there's a higher level of cancers that have mood disorders or just really bad moodiness in general, or the higher amount of Libras there are that are very big people pleasers and super indecisive. Um, and I've actually had a few of the Sagittariuses would actually just tell me straight up that I am a pathological liar. That's I, <laughs> That's what I do. And, you know, it's because I'm non-judgmental, so they don't mind telling me that. But not all of them are. Just like not all Libras are people-pleasing, indecisive people. Not all Cancers are moody people. Not all Scorpios are evil people or really super cold as ice, you know. But there are some that are. And it also depends on what your other signs in your chart are as well. So anyway... You're a very optimistic person, somebody who really believes in doing what's right. You're somebody who is very balanced as well. And you definitely have a very strong mysteriousness about you. People don't necessarily know everything that's going on with you all the time. You could be somebody who likes to tell stories as well. You could be somebody who might be a little bit indecisive. Z. N, you may be somebody who actually likes to take your time to make a decision instead of just impulsively making one. And you could be dealing with people who impulsively make decisions. Or you could be dealing with people who really take a very long time to make decisions. And you make decisions pretty quickly. Your mind moves very quickly. And you're like, okay, this is what I want to do. And they think that you're being impulsive, but really you think it through first. And when it all works out right, they're like, oh, how do you make a, such a quick decision and have it all work out for you? Zone. In the zone, Z-N-O-E, Y, V, E, V, eyes. Your eyes may be very beautiful in some sort of way. T, D, there may be a lot of people who get lost in your eyes. M, mountain, P, I, pin, S, piston, H, pish posh, mishmosh, D, <laughs> D, some of you could have very large chest sizes. G, V. Phone, your phone. Somebody may be jealous of the type of phone you have. Maybe you have a newer phone, iPhone. Maybe you have a um, video. Maybe some sort of videos you make on your phone. If you make videos... Mode, mid, mid, mid-rise. Maybe something about the way that your pants fit you as well for some of you. Shoes. Like I said before, definitely something about your clothes, your style of dress, something along those lines can also make people jealous as well. Maybe you have a lot of really nice clothes, even if you can't afford expensive brands. Maybe you shop at the thrift store, and you know what? I'll say this much. You don't find Walmart clothes in thrift stores because Walmart clothes hardly last six months. They're definitely not going to last six months in somebody's house and then make it to a thrift store. So generally, a lot of the types of clothes you're going to find in a thrift store for $10 is like a five hundred dollar pair of shoes for ten dollars i've actually done that before and somebody actually got pissed off at me because they thought i had money because i had a five hundred dollar pair of shoes on and they asked me how much my shoes were and oh i really love your shoes and people had been telling me for like a month and a half how much they loved my shoes and this person's like oh i really love your shoes how much were they blah 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 and i was like they were ten dollars and he's like oh, well, that used to be an expensive brand and i was like oh well i got them from the thrift store and I looked them up after I got home and they were $500. That has actually happened to me quite often at the thrift store near here. But I don't have money for clothes. Once in a great while, I have enough to buy a pair of shoes from the thrift store. I mean, yeah, I, I'm not living high on the hog. But there's some people who assume I am because of the clothes I wear. Edgy. Nose. Something could be um, different about your nose. And nose ring was the first thing that popped in my mind. So some of you may actually have a piercing in your nose that people may be a little bit jealous of. Nosy. Um, this could definitely be somebody who's very nosy, very much in your business. Dish. This person um, could want to have something to dish about so they're constantly nosy and in your business because they feel like your life is super interesting. Movie. Like your life is like a movie. 
You never allow your vibes to be taken over or controlled by a room. Your vibes change the vibes of any room that you enter. Energy, energy transmutation. You don't blame others for your problems, issues, or feelings. You take responsibility for you, and you accept other people too as well. So you are somebody who is very responsible, somebody who really accepts responsibility for things. When something goes wrong and you, you know it's your fault, you'll be the first one to step up and apologize and be like, hey, I'm so sorry about that. I was the one who did that. And you take up the responsibility for it, but you also expect other people to do that as well. You expect people to come clean. You expect them to be honest. You expect them to take responsibility for their actions when they do something that's not okay. And at the end of the day, you know that everybody's human and everybody does something. So somebody pretending not to ever do anything will definitely trip off your red flag radar. So we have the nine of swords, the magician, the knight of wands, the nine of swords again, and we have the cosmic egg and we have the butterfly. Yeah, you definitely transform the energies of the rooms that you enter. You are definitely somebody who um, can manifest very, very well. I feel like you face your fears head on as well. And you keep driving forward regardless of the fears that you have. You continually move forward. You continually level up. I feel like um, you have been able to transform because of facing your fears a lot of times too. You definitely have a wealth of beauty inside of you. You have changed, grown, transformed so many different times. And you don't just transform yourself. You transform everything around you. Everything you touch gets transformed or transmuted or changed in some sort of way. Every life that you come across gets changed dramatically by your presence. You definitely have the skills, the tools, the knowledge, the speaking ability, the love in your heart, the passion, the drive, everything that you need to create the life that you desire and you are somebody who moves very quickly as well and you could definitely have the people that are jealous of you could definitely be people that are very in and out hot and cold they really don't know what they want they start and stop they constantly come up against blockages of their fears that are um, holding them back or keeping them stuck in place um you could even be somebody who may have suffered from some very great fears from trauma that you went through or super bad nightmares, things like that. And um, you were still able to transform. You were able to work your way through these things and you were able to come out the other side. And I feel like some people feel like they're stuck in that position and will never be able to move themselves forward. And those are the types of people that are jealous of you. The advice I have for you guys is to just continue to inspire these people because I feel like they're learning a lot from you. I feel like they heal from you as well. Their their energy really heals a lot just by knowing you are coming into contact with you. And I really feel like they definitely are not necessarily looking to mess up your life in any kind of way. They are just really trying to figure out what to do with their own life and why they are feeling the way that they are about you. Some of them could even be extremely afraid that you will be able to steal their person or that their people are more, are more attracted to you than they are to them for some of them as well. So that is what I have for this pile. I really feel like you are not afraid of things that most people are afraid of as well. That could definitely be part of it. And so that's what I have for you guys. I really would love to hear what you guys had to say about it in the comments below, whether or not it resonates, what you might be going through, who this person might be. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. So for pile two, who is jealous of you and why? Could be some children or um, could be some children of some sort. Um... People may be very jealous of you because it seems like you are on top of the world. You are sitting in your throne. You have you are having so many of your wishes come true. Um, you may be buying a new house. You may be moving into a new place. You may be um, maybe you have some roommates that you really love. Maybe you even have children that you really love, and maybe that relationship might have been interrupted by people. But you have the key to unlocking it inside of you, and it is slowly coming back into being and is healing and repairing in some sort of way. For some of you, um, you could have very good friends as well. People could feel like you have really good friends. They may be jealous of the close connection you have with your friends or with your family or with your loved ones or with your children. Um, 
some of you could definitely be a single mother as well. And I feel like you work your ass off, which is why the dreams are coming true. People may be very jealous of your ability to be able to unlock people's hearts as well. Your ability to be able to see inside and understand what's going on with people. You may love to read too. And people could be jealous of the fact that you love to read or that you um, sleep very well. <laughs> or that you're like the perfect fit to a lot of people. I feel like you may definitely be like the perfect fit to a lot of people. You may be very good at getting inside of people's hearts and waking them up in some sort of way. So let's see, who is jealous of you and why? We got Scorpio. We got Cancer. Aries. Capricorn. Could be dealing with some addict energy. Um... Maybe you're somebody very stable, very strong, very firm, even though you're doing things on your own and even though it's a lot of hard work, you've been very dedicated, very committed, um, very heart-centered as well. No matter how many times you've been hurt in the past, you are not going to allow your heart to become cold. Your work ethic or your drive or your motivation in work could be something that people may be very jealous of as well. Um, your ability to be able to not pay attention to the conflict, chaos, drama, or BS that people want to start in your life. Your ability to be able to love wholeheartedly while still protecting your inner sanctum and keeping peace in your emotions. You may be very mysterious to other people as well. People may not know everything that's going on in your life or everything that's going on in your heart. You may even be keeping your love life... Um, somewhat private as well and people could be jealous of the fact that you're keeping your love life somewhat private that not everybody gets to hear the gossip and juicy details of what's going on in your love life coercion rape is coming to mind s h shady d there could definitely be a shady person G, J, Shaggy, N, it wasn't me. She caught me on camera, wasn't me. Saw the marks on my shoulders, wasn't me. Were the words that I told her, wasn't me. As I screamed getting louder, wasn't me. She said it really was over, wasn't me. So, um... You could definitely be somebody who is capable of ending things and walking away. You don't compete. You're like, if you want to throw me in a competition, bye. Because I don't compete. I am the prize. You want this prize? Come get this prize. Because I'm not going to run after your ass. W, single, single hot female. <laughs> okay, single white female just came into mind as well. There's actually single black female now too on Lifetime. WTN. Um, you could definitely have somebody who watches you a lot. Somebody who maybe wants to be you in some sort of way. Tingle. <laughs> Mr. Jingles. R. I. Grid. You could definitely love watching movies. You may have watched movies with some of these people. Shingles. Um, somebody could have gotten shingles at some point. Mother-in-law energy is here as well. Um... Maybe even an ex or a current, current partner's baby mama. W. Oh, we have Libra as well. Z. Maybe even a maybe even the other parent if you're a single parent. Z. X. S. R. Pringles. G. <laughs> Sharing. Y, N, gynecologist, sharing, trying. You're willing to try a lot of different things. You're willing to try in general. I feel like you are somebody who does not give up easily. Gig, gin, grin, ting, sing, ring, wing, wingman. Wing woman, energy, synergy, six, sexy, 
Sin. <laughs> Shin. Let's see what else we got here. Wow, I spent a lot of time just on the charms and the letters. You send out so much love, even to those who must most feel... <clears throat> you send out so much love, even to those who most feel don't deserve it. You feel and know different. Keep being you. You are an amazing leader who is who, always leading by example. Your strength is an inspiration to everyone in your life, even the haters, awestruck by your power. So you are somebody who sends out a lot of love to people and even people that most people would really feel like do not deserve the love, don't deserve the time or the energy or the attention, whatever the case may be. You love the unlovable. You are like the mother or father friend of the group. You're somebody who's very caring, very nurturing, very loving. You definitely are an amazing leader who leads by example. You're very strong and you're an inspiration to everyone around you. Queen of Pentacles, you know your value, you know your worth. Ace of Wands, you definitely practice self-love and you practice what you preach because I feel like you preach self-love and you practice self-love. Two of Cups, The Fool, Scorpion, to go with that Scorpio, Sea Serpent. So you're somebody who is capable of breaking a lot of karmic cycles, a lot of chains, a lot of the things that hold, hold most people back do not hold you back. You are able to shed your skin and move forward. You are able to change and transform. You are definitely somebody who um, can put up with a lot of people's nastiness without it affecting you because you love yourself very fully. And um, the nastiness of others just does not penetrate that being You're somebody who is capable of taking a leap of faith. You have a lot of faith. You have a lot of trust in yourself, your abilities, your skills. Um, you really are able to start things over, start things new, to go out on new beginnings and new journeys. You really like adventure and you like exploring a lot of different things. You may even like to explore friendships or connections in some sort of way. You are somebody who really is very capable of being a very good friend. You are a very good friend. You also have a lot of courage when it comes to love connections and connecting with other people. You're also very good at healing connections because you are very brave and very courageous and you take those leaps of faith to bring things back together when it's needed. You are somebody who's very peaceful, very balanced, very harmonious. You are definitely somebody who may get a lot of love offers as well. You may have a lot of people who offer love to you or offer their hand to you because they know that you're worth it. You're very valuable. You are very caring, nurturing, kind, um, strong, honest, compassionate, down to earth, grounded. Um, you're very abundant, very fertile. You really bring a lot of beauty into people's lives. And there is definitely somebody who is very jealous of the amount of self-love that you have, the amount of self-respect you have, the amount of self-confidence that you have, and your ability to stand up and say what you need to say and to, and to mean what you say and to be able to back up what you say as well. There could definitely be some friends that are jealous of you too, but I really feel like, um, I feel like if you have some friends that are jealous of you, it's like they, they don't like the fact that they're jealous of you and they don't really have any hard feelings towards you. They're just trying to figure out what they're doing in their life that they need to change around to be able to, um, end this where they need to start loving themselves more and seeing themselves more. My advice to you would be to remind the people that are in your life that you love how amazing they are on a regular basis because this will help to build up their self-confidence and their self-esteem so they are not feeling so jealous of you and who you are anymore because the spotlight is kind of on them and their qualities and the good things about their qualities. And as far as the single white female type of energy you've got going on where somebody may be copying you to the extreme or following you around or... Um, um, like wanting to be you, I would really just kind of figure out who this person is and pull back your energy from them because that can be a very not good energy to have around you. This could be somebody who might actually attempt to t take your partners when you're in a partnership or they may attempt to try to um, wed put a wedge between you and your partners because they know that they can't get your partner and so they want to try to stop you from being with them maybe even so that they don't have to lose out on time with you as well so that is what i have for this 
pile and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would love to hear what you guys had to say about it, whether or not it resonated with you, who these people might be, and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile three. So who is jealous of you and why? You are very out of this world. You're very different from others. You may actually even really um, subscribe to the star seed idea. You may be somebody who really believes in aliens as well. Um, if you've ever had an alien encounter and you've told people about it, that could be something that people may be jealous of as well. I'm really feeling like you may have, um, you definitely believe in, I believe in aliens because you know what I really feel like there's some people who are like oh you're crazy if you believe in aliens you're crazy if you believe they don't exist considering there are numerous galaxies out there there is an infinite number of galaxies out there with an infinite number of planets out there god the ego on hu some humans to believe that the only life that could ever exist is on this planet come on now Especially since they've already found like six or seven, maybe even ten planets that are very Earth-like with vegetation and water on them. Which means generally they probably have lives on them too. Like actual lives on them. And if we can already see them that far away, or see the planet anyway, that far away and know what's on it, then who's to say some of them aren't capable of intergalactic travel at this point already? If they're ahead of us technology wise. Anyway, you're very rare. You are somebody that people do not meet every day. This is 1995 Colorado blue moon. Um, you are definitely very rare. It's like once in a blue moon. You may even be somebody who only shows up once in a blue moon. You could be somebody who's very introverted. Um, but when you're around, you really do make a difference in the room that you're in. You are definitely a peacemaker, a diplomat, somebody who is really good at mediating in situations. Somebody who's really good at bringing peace and calm feelings to the room around you. You may be very hippie-like as well. Um, you may be into natural healing, natural medicine, things like that. You are somebody who speaks from a place of love. You're somebody who is also very protected in the actions that you take and the things that you do simply because of the innocent beauty that you are. People could feel like there's a very strong, intimate love connection with you. A lot of people could feel that way when they first meet you. Um, people could feel like you have a lot of luck in the love department. People could also feel like you're like a sunshine in the room. Somebody who really is... It's like you, you go on forever. Like you never leave people's minds. People tend to think about you long after you are gone. You're definitely protected on your travel or on your journey. You may be somebody who travels a lot. You may gamble as well, and you may be very lucky at that. Somebody very connected to your crown chakra, very connected to your intuition. You really do um, believe in your intuition as well. You have a lot of faith and a lot of trust in your intuition, and you are very much at peace. So your intuition is very accurate as well. So we have Gemini, Scorpio, Passionate. Scorpio came out in every pile, I think. Gemini again. <laughs> and Libra. So you could definitely have some sort of two-faced energy around you. Um, there could be a lot of gossip surrounding you. There could be a lot of people interested in your life. There could be a lot of people um, hidden behind the scenes. You could definitely have a frenemy around you that is jealous of you. Um, for some of you, this could be an ex. For some of you, this could be a mother-like figure. I don't feel like it's your actual mother, but maybe somebody who is a mother-like figure in your life. Maybe even an older sister for some of you stepmother uh people may be jealous of your charisma of your ability to talk and to talk in a very intelligent way and and to enter into intellectual conversations as well and to be able to know what you're talking about in those conversations somebody could be jealous of your drive to do the right thing and to be a fair person and a balanced person in situations People could even get triggered by you because it's like looking in a mirror and when they're dealing with you, they have to look within to understand what's going on with themselves. Y, J, U. Somebody could be jealous of the connections that you make as well or how mysterious you are, how connected you really are to the spiritual world as well. W, C, Z. 
P, PC. You could be very good with computers as well. E, Z, or sorry, another E. We have P, <laughs> Pez, U, C, Cup, I see you, P. Q, P, oh, P is actually here. D o, Pow, Power, the power you have. W, maybe you even have a lot of hidden power. Maybe you have a lot of um, spiritual presence on the other side that is protecting you and looking over you as well. H, who, who, what, why, where, how. A, hey, yay, Y, F, Z, B. Um, people could feel like you are very asleep on how much potential you have and maybe they feel like it's wasted on you. For some of you, cub, cubby, cuff, cup, cuppy. Cuppy is a bear from a movie. I can't think of what movie it's on right now, but it is. Wolf. The Wolf of Wall Street just popped in my mind. Some of you could have a lot of money as well. Or a lot of expensive things. Maybe you do very well in the stock market for some of you. Yap. Hope. Cope. Rope. Bow. Bow. Could be really good with a bow and bow with arrows, you know? I don't know why, but you could be. J. Pay. K. Way. Fay. <laughs> Fee. B. He. Her. Our. Let's see what else. You have fought long and hard. Be proud of all that you have achieved so far. Celebrate your wins. Take some time out for play and fun. Why so serious? All work, no play is making you a little crazy. Time to fix that by bringing in more balance. So, if you need to bring in more balance, bring in more balance. People could be very jealous of your work ethic. People could also be very jealous of the fact that you are able to bring in that balance, that you're able to play, that you're able to celebrate your wins, that you're able to really enjoy life, things like that. Nine of Pentacles. Knave of Swords. Oh, I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. I will survive. Keep on surviving. Thought I would be broke without you, but I'm richer. Thought I would be helpless without you, but I'm on top. <laughs> I can't think of the full lyrics right now, but um, Survivor by, by Destiny's Child. You are single and standing strong. You have very good energy. You have a lot of self-confidence, a lot of self-esteem. You really are feeling very good about yourself and your achievements, and you are definitely on your way to being very financially stable on your own and independently. Whether or not you are yet, you are on your way there, and people are watching this. There could definitely be somebody keeping tabs on you, maybe watching your social media, maybe um, scrolling through your pictures, things like that. Somebody could be jealous of the way that you look so presentable in all of your pictures, how confident you are, how um, strong you are, how much you love to learn. You may love to learn, and you may take that learning energy and spread it. You are definitely good at communication, like um, therapist level of communication. You are good at communicating with others. You are good at communicating your emotions and your feelings. Um, people who may have a really hard time expressing themselves or feel like they can never get the words right may be jealous of you. People who um, may be watching from the outside and really don't even know how much hard work it is being put into creating the life that you're creating could be jealous. 
People could be jealous of the love offers that you get as well. Um, somebody may be putting you up on a pedestal, your life up on a pedestal, and they may not even be seeing the real picture of what your life is. We have the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles again, the Hummingbird, and the Bat. There could definitely be a very strong telepathic connection between you and somebody as well. And somebody could be very jealous of the telepathic communication or connection that you have with somebody in particular. Um... Maybe even the ability you have to kind of read people's minds a lot of times and really understand what's going on within them. You definitely have a very strong like counselor, mediator, diplomat, therapist type of feeling to you. And you are definitely very abundant, very fertile. And this abundance and fertility, I feel like you have worked for. You are definitely somebody, some people may feel like you are very privileged or like you just have things handed to you on a silver platter. And they really have no idea what went on behind the scenes and how hard you had to work to be where you're at. There's a lot of people throughout my life who have literally told me that I am a hot little white girl so I've had everything handed to me in my entire life and I've had a silver spoon in my mouth since I was born they don't even know that I grew up in a fucking trailer park where we had a tiny little camper trailer with five kids and my mom in it race has nothing to do with it outsiders looking in on lives have a really hard time seeing the truth that's going on behind the scenes you're somebody who's very positive you're very joyful and you spread a lot of positivity you spread a lot of love you spread a lot of light you really do bring a lot of joy to this world you have a very big imagination and your imagination is beautiful some of you could even be writers as well and that could be where you're earning your money from or building a successful business from is something to do with your writing or your speaking or your communicating um or your imagination it could have something to do with your imagination needing to be put in there like artwork some form of artwork you may even have a lot of little side hustles as well so that you can continue working on your main goals for some of you the way that you're able to wear your heart on your sleeve you're able to express your love you're able to express your emotions you're able to express your positivity your joy your happiness and you spread that around the world there could there's definitely somebody watching that is kind of seething and jealous of this because I feel like this person is stuck in very low vibrational energy. They really feel left out in the cold. They feel like they have nothing and no one. They really feel like they, um, they're just in this very strong state of lack. They have no gratitude for anything in their life. They're very miserable. They really don't notice anything good in their life. And they really feel like they just have it worse than anybody else on the planet. And so watching you, they could be very jealous of how much you have and what you're creating with it. And you may not even have that much. They just are seeing it that way because their mind is kind of warped right now because they're in this state of lack instead of being in a state of gratitude. And the suggestion would be to just continue doing what you're doing unless it becomes a problem. Ignore the crap coming your way. Do some energy prote protection, cleansing, clearing, shielding, um, and really continue doing what you're doing because what you're doing is amazing. So that is what I have for this pile. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys had to say about it, whether or not it resonates with you, what you might be going through. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are, when you're watching. Bye-bye guys.